and Sean here. Welcome back to another frugal vlog. Hope you guys are doing well, taking care. Uh, again, we are doing our Friday excursions. Random MRT stop. Today, if you were here for last week's video, you know that I mentioned that there was a stop that was really busy for the one that I got off at. So I got off at Chetichek Park and we're in the park now. Um, I wandered around a little bit just because I'm like, am I gonna record today or am I did not? And the best part, covers in trees. It is mid afternoon. I think it's around four o'clock. It has been considerably warmer out than it was last week. So I am of the mindset of going out later and then wandering around and see what we can find. There are multiple perks apparently here. So I just wandered into one of them because it looked beautiful. And there were other people coming in here. <laughs> I am such a creature of habit. Last week, probably one of my favorite adventures. So happy with my eyewear. I'm actually loving this little random series on Fridays of just getting off at a random stop or doing whatever and seeing whatever I can find. It has been a treat and then some. Honestly, I've... This is now the fourth one. There was one that I scrapped. Um, I was going to do it for Christmas Day. And I just was... I had a stupid thought, like, you know, that one of the stops was uh, C nut, N U T. I thought, ah, oh, nut, nutcracker. Ah, we'll do the correlation of Christmas. Let's go have an adventure. And there was a little market there, but it was not the right day. I was not in the right mood. And it wasn't the right thing to do. So I didn't have the time to go and explore because I had a bunch of other stuff on, the, on my plate that day. So I scrapped it. So, but. That is the one failure I've had at this adventure so far. And that failure was more to do with me than anything else. And the amount of birds I hear here. This is amazing. I hope that you guys can hear the birds. Okay, what do we got here? Now this place looks different. I think this looks like a Play park or something for kids. It's like a whole bunch of water features and stuff. Probably not open. Or if it is, it's not busy. <laughs> yeah, but this looks very interesting. Is that up there? Looks like some kind of like a water slide that you climb up and then slide down. Let's go up and take a look. I'm not seeing anything running. See some kids over here. That looks like a slide. That's a kind of slide that when I was a kid, it would have uh, burnt my ass. Because the metal is so hot. Okay. I'm seeing overgrown areas and I'm, I'm, either this is not quite complete or it's the wrong season, but this is definitely a different, look at this. Once again, here I am in the middle of an amazing city and this is what I've got surrounding me, nature and high rises. Great combination, not gonna lie. So I'm not expecting anything miraculous or anything today. I, I, I'm probably not banking on any, um, you know, random food stalls or anything like that. I, I'm pretty sure that this is gonna be just a park, but I'm happy with just a park. I've been very fortunate to have found quite a few parks in the city so far. This is my third now? Third or fourth. So, it's beautiful here. Getting ready to head out on a trip a couple of days. 
So, kind of stoked for that. Still kind of making plans as I go. Got two places to decide on. I'm not quite sure if I want to do a three-day trip or a week trip. So, kind of weighing my odds. Got a couple of uh, different options to do. Neither one of them are terribly expensive. Um, I can go to Pattaya. Pattaya. I'm calling it Pattaya. That is, um, that's a closer of the two places, about a couple hours away. I can take a bus. It's like five bucks Canadian for the trip there. Uh, hotels on the beach, anywhere between 12 and 30 bucks, depending on the you know, amenities and what I want. Um, I'd have a travel day, and then I'm looking at probably two or three nights, and then travel day back, which would be nice. And then the other option would be going up to Chiang Mai. And that is uh, an 11 hour bus ride or a 14 hour train ride. And the fun part about that is the bus is 30 bucks. The train is 10 Canadian. Um, I am tempted because I'm looking at the times that the uh, the bus ride up works better with checking into hotels and then taking the train back because regardless of what time I come in it wouldn't matter because I just have to get back to my apartment and I go up to Chiang Mai for a week at least and that's the that's the thought that's that, that's the current plan so I'm trying to decide which I want to do first um, and it's just a matter of, I got a couple other things here on the go I'm trying to organize, so none of it's terribly complicated or confusing, but it's been, it's been fun. Get everything done, new year, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, as I'm recording this, a couple of days from new year, so. Well, I'm a little sad. I was just speaking with uh, one of the security folks here. And uh, I was just asking about, you know, great places to take a look at and stuff. And I figure you ask a local. And uh, he said that I should go to the butterfly um, exhibit. There's a building here. But it closes in like 15 minutes and it's a 10 minute walk. So I'd only get a few minutes in there. So I was like, dang it. So just another reason to come back. It's okay. Uh, I think the cost of the trip to here was like... 60 baht, so two bucks. I paid more than that in Toronto for the uh, TTC. So let's continue on. So this is a huge walkway in the park. I'm digging this. Every park I've been in in Thailand has been outstanding. Like just the way that everything is manicured. The amount of people that come out and walk in them too is great. Makes me very happy that uh, folks here seem to appreciate the nature as much as I do. And I, I honestly think Canada, well, Canada and the United States should take some uh, pages out of this booklet here, man. I mean, okay, the Odell Park, it's a park that I have in Fredericton, and it's a natural park. It's beautiful. I walk in all the time. I love it. But there's not a whole lot of other parks in the area. And even when I was in Toronto, we would have a few, but they were never, I don't know, they just never had this feel to them. So maybe I'm just biased because I'm having so much fun here. I'm thinking, you know, looking at to Bangkok through rose colored glasses, but uh, I'm digging it, man. I've had the best time here. I've absolutely had the best trip. At no point, have I regretted any part, any section of my trip so far? It has been glorious. And yes, this is a bridge. There's, as you can see, there's one down here. I'm on this one. There's another one over there. It's so cool. Why there's a bridge here? 
Why there's so many? Couldn't tell you. But I tell you, the daytime here, the heat is rough. You feel the heat just like it just beats down on you here. And then four o'clock hits and just starts to cool down. It's the wildest thing. I love it. So I've been, you know, trying to go out more and more often in the evening times. Or, you know, late afternoon, I should say. Because it's, it's, it's glorious out here. And I will say that the amount of little malls and, and like, well, I shouldn't say little malls. The amount of malls that I have stumbled upon and, you know, taking walk, taking an adventure, just feel like I'm starting to overheat. And then suddenly I find a mall or a metro station or something that I can walk on and take and go and wander around in. It's wonderful. I like yesterday, you know, I could have found this park and I never would have found that market. And I'm glad that I went and did it that way. And of course, because of the fact that the station was called uh, the Chetuchek Park, I kind of had a sneak suspicion that there would be a big ass park here. I don't think you would have a, a metro station named after a park. There wasn't a park there. So I kind of had a, an idea that this would be here. And again, because of every other park I've been to here being absolutely immaculately manicured and gorgeous, I kind of had a sinking feeling that this would be very similar. Um, and not disappoint. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, so I got New Year's Eve coming up in a couple of days. And there is a part of me that wants to go and check out the festivities. There is another part of me that dreads it. So I'm on the fence as to what I will do. And just to kind of put everything into perspective. For over 20 years of my career, my life, I worked in the service industry. And that could be waiting tables, bartending, working in a kitchen. It didn't matter. I've done the whole thing. I've done every job imaginable in a club or in a restaurant. So for me to um, deal with New Year's Eve was always just a pain in the ass for me. Like it was just watching people getting drunk, serving people getting drunk, serving people food while they're drunk, making food for them while they're drunk. There seemed to be a combination of everything around alcohol. I don't drink. I haven't had alcohol in quite a few years. Um, so it's not my thing. And, you know, to make it even worse is I don't care for the party of New Year's Eve. I like the idea of celebrating it, you know, brand new year, brand new everything. I'm down for that. But the party atmosphere and the fireworks, I'm just like, Sorry, 55 years old. I have seen more fireworks than I care to count, so I'm more than happy to kind of skip it. Now, mind you, if I can find something cool to do on New Year's Eve, then I will go and do that. And that's kind of where I'm leaning is to see. It's like, okay, which way do you want to do this, Sean? So uh, I got to do some research to see if there are any, you know, events or anything that can be kind of fun to do instead of just, uh, you know, going hanging outside and watching fireworks with other people that are drinking because uh -uh. <laughs> I have enough issues with uh, uh, crowds and of course while I was rambling I forgot to show you guys the beautiful view I get to see while well, you have to listen to my rambling voice and look at me so I'm pretty sure most people would much rather see what I'm looking at instead of what I am I don't know. It, it, there is a weird anomaly, which I think is kind of fun. Um, YouTube gives you sets, and you can see statistics on your channel and all that. And I have had a gaming channel 
for almost a decade now. And it's not a popular channel. I don't have tons of views or anything like that. I do it because it's a labor of love. But almost from the day I made the channel, it has had mostly a male audience. Um, 98%, 100%, that kind of thing. The minute I started this channel, I have an absolute mix. Um, it's almost 50-50, men and women. So yeah, air quality is a concern in Thailand. The government's trying to make steps to change everything. And it's awesome, but it's just to see that they have a monitoring thing here to check the air quality as well. I think it's cool. You know, I'm not being critical about air quality. Air quality is a problem everywhere. I think we all have to deal with it. But the fact that they're serious about dealing with it here makes me happy. So the air quality is at 25. There we go. Yeah, air quality 25. Which is better. I think it was in the 70s last week when I was, uh, when uh, there was a lot of concern about air quality in Bangkok. Um, from my understanding, and I may be wrong, so if I am wrong, please feel free to correct me. Um, a lot of farming does burns. Um, we did it in Florida too, uh, the sugar cane. So it's not something I'm not used to. Um, so, but apparently there's a lot of, you know, rural farming. And so that adds to, you know, the pollution cars from apparently the people cooking pork I saw a report about that but there's a lot of concerns about a lot of that kind of stuff and it's really cool to see the government trying to take steps to you know to change it um, it's, at least they're more vocal about it here and I'm hearing about it I'm not, not saying that it wouldn't be something that's happening in Canada the United States I don't hear about it so but uh, I, like I said digging it here it's been a long day for me today too i've done a bunch of stuff around the house uh to do a whole bunch of errands uh getting some bills paid and getting uh laundry and all that kind of stuff done and we got a little bit of groceries this morning i have started cooking breakfast at home and i've been enjoying it i've been making oatmeal again and I have found that if I limit myself to an oatmeal breakfast and then having my dinner, that my stomach is adapting quicker and, and easier to the heat. So at my dinner time, I can have more heat than I can. So if I limit it to one or two meals a day instead of every meal, I'm better. So, and I've been getting uh, coconut milk and some fresh fruit. And I'm, I'm trying to spend about the same amount of money as I would having breakfast on my breakfast. And I'm not quite there, but it's, you know, not too bad. I think I'm spending, um, I'm trying to think, the oatmeal itself is 40. Why? Why are you doing this thing? I don't know why. Uh, the oatmeal for a packet that lasts me a week and a half, it's 40 baht. Bananas, uh, a bunch of those, anywhere between 15 to 30 baht per bunch. And that lasts me for four or five days. And then I've got some dried fruit, um, fresh mangoes if I have them. Um, and then coconut milk. I get little packets of coconut milk. And that will get, it's about 10 baht a day for the coconut milk. And I really enjoy the flavor of the oatmeal cooked in coconut milk. The coconut milk here in Thailand is phenomenal. Way better than the crap I had back home. It like gets actually thick and creamy and milky and it's oh, so good. I've had a phenomenal day. And again, thanks everybody for your continued support on the channel, what I'm doing here. Again, if there are any locations that you want to see, pop on Google, take a look at the map in Bangkok. Take a look and see if there's something that catches your eye and you were like, I would like to see what that's like. Let me know.
and I'll do my absolute best to get there. Anyway, see you guys soon. Take care, everybody. Bye.